Brad Julian Alaphilippe said before today's stage that he fancied it today. So he was giving it the big one, if you like. Yeah, which is um, a bit different to what he said a few weeks ago, didn't he? About him not being in um, the form he wanted to be in. Um, but we saw him in San Remo last week, and you know he's clearly now brimming full of confidence, isn't he, towards uh, the tour? Next Do you think he can win a Grand Tour? No, no, I don't either. No. No. I, don't, I don't either, for, for what it's worth. Unless he changes his ride, um, the way he rides, because he rides on emotion and energy, and I just think he, he leaves too much on the road at the wrong times, really. Um, and I, th- I, don't, I, th- I don't think we'll ever see him have a tour like he did last year. I mean, I may be wrong, but um, there was an element of kind of riding on cloud nine with that, you know, that I don't think anyone expected him to be in that position, including himself, because we saw him on, was it day two or three last year, where he jumped away and won that stage and took yellow? Who'd have thought three weeks after that? <laughs> When, you, when you're conscious that you're capable of doing something like that, repeating it, it's quite hard again because you maybe overthink things. But I wouldn't put anything past him. But I don't think any of us want him to change how he rides either, no, do we? No, like right. it, we, want, great... we want him to leave it out on the road like he, like Brad he just does, said. Yeah. He's an entertain- I think the sport needs entertainers, doesn't it? You know, And he is an entertainer, but he's got you know, a ridiculously rich Palmares already. But yeah, I think a three-week tour... I agree with you, Brad. I agree yeah. with you, Dan. I don't think... Uh, I think maybe a week-long races and monuments. He'll collect those for the rest of his career, I think. Yeah, and well, we will come back to uh, Julian Alaphilippe in next week's tour episode. Mm-hmm.